Two words. I am your hair loss daddy. Now we've got some work to do. I received a comment on a video called, do atheists not believe suicide is immoral since they are more likely to commit suicide? Getko, I guess is the screen name I'm mispronouncing, had this to say in the comments, quote, young balding men are more likely to be atheists because they feel that God has abandoned them. This combined with the hopeless dread of being alone for life because of an early receded hairline causes them to commit suicide, end quote. Now, keep in mind, the nature of this channel is largely me, a non-expert, reading comments that I get on my videos. Just because I read a comment does not mean I agree with it, but all I'm doing is serving as sort of a talk show host and allowing everybody watching this video to make your own decisions. So I responded back saying, I will make a video about this, to which Gekko said, thank you. So here is that video. You are watching that video. Let's explore this concept. Uh, the idea that premature balding is a cause for young men to not only become atheists, but also to ultimately commit suicide. Here's what I'm saying. I have never heard of that before. There are no statistics I know of that would back that up, but there are apparently young men who are noticing that their hair is uh, prematurely balding and they perceive that and they are using that as a reason not to believe in God. So let's consider that. I would say that if your DNA causes you to go bald young, that if that's all it takes for you to not believe in God, then I think it sure didn't take much. Because I think when we consider that children are starving and dying and being murdered and captured and there's, you know, modern day slavery going on and sex trade trafficking and all, all the horrible things that people are doing to each other, I think the least of our worries is hair loss. So I think for a person to become an atheist because, it, because their hairline's going back and they've got less hair than me and I'm almost 40 yet they're not 20 yet. I think that if that's all it takes, probably believing in God would not be something that you would be likely to do anyway or to do very long because once you consider all the horrible things in this world, if we're putting hair loss on that category, I just think that that's not going to be very much of a faith to begin with, that that's all it takes because I think in the same way, I mean, I've said multiple times, hair loss is simply in our DNA. Either when you're born, your DNA is going to dictate that you're gonna go bald at a certain age or you're not. And whatever kind of thing you put in your hair or whatever to slow it down or whatever, or you get a hair transplant, ultimately you're just fighting nature. So for me, I put hair loss in the same category as a guy who thinks he's too short or that his skin is too light, he wants to be darker and he sees that as, we, we could say that about any kind of perceived physical flaw and say, well, there surely can't be a God because if there was, then why didn't he create me to be more like this, more of a certain way? That's my response. I, I just can't imagine that anyone would actually become an atheist because they're going bald and therefore they would kill themselves, they would commit suicide because they're losing hair young. I'd say if that's if that is your value system, if your hair is your value system, and you believe as a man that your looks are, are that important, then I would say you have some major fundamental issues on your identity of not knowing who you are as a person, who you are as a man. And as I continue to point out on this channel, men are not judged the way that they tend to judge themselves, especially younger men. I continue to remind everybody, Part of being a man and knowing your uh, manly identity is to learn what you're good at, what you're bad at, being able to make people laugh, being able to help people, having a skill set, etc. I've talked about all these things, but for younger men, they don't have those things figured out yet. Therefore, they depend on looks, which are only going to fall apart 
the older that you get. That's my response. I want to remind everybody watching this video, or maybe I should say the people who are only going to read the title, I do not agree with the idea that premature balding causes people to become atheists and commit suicide. But that is going to be in the title of the video because I've got to differentiate this video from the nearly 3,000 other ones on my channel that are about hair loss or atheist views. So in a, in a way to differentiate this one, that's going to be in the title. Your comments belong right here.